Hello guys and welcome to Single Minded Fury Warrior for 5.1 Sorry, I just had to try and remember all that <laughs> Not as easy as it sounds Right, anyway We're going to try and cover the rotation tantrum guys Very quickly I will quite happily confess and admit now I am in full PvP gear With two not so great weapons so if that does put you off, feel free to um, have a look elsewhere. I will say I do love my character. I will also show you, if I can reach over and type it, played, my game time. So, 236 days, 6 hours, 47 minutes, 20 seconds, and 5 days and 22 minutes at level 90. So I've had a bit of game time wear it with it. I will not sit there and say I'm the best in the world. By far I'm not. I just enjoy helping people. And Fury is kind of something I've done since I started quite some years ago. Probably been playing it a little bit longer than I should have. But I do enjoy it. Anyway, let's get on with this. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. If not, then it's fine. I appreciate you tuning in in the first place, but never mind. So, Single Minded Fury. First of all, if we go to our book, we'll have a look at Single Minded Fury, just so you understand why it's so good. Uh, when you dual wield with one hand weapons, all damage is increased by 35%, and your offhand weapon will deal an additional 35% weapon damage. Basically, everything hits harder. Except Raging Blow, doesn't seem to work so well. Um, Colossal Smash and Bloodthirst also seem to be meh, a bit iffy. You will have to excuse, yes I am hitting a low level dummy, there is good reason for that. And that good reasoning is something I can't think of right now. Nope, it is. My hit and expertise are much lower than they should be because I'm aimed at PvP, not PvE. Pv PvE hit and expertise is 7.5% for each um, you then want to get your crit, your hit up a bit after that. Once your crit's up, you want to increase your hit. Basically, the more hit, hit you get, the more auto attack damage you do, the more fluid your rage gain is. And the more rage you fluidly gain, the better you've got at controlling it, and then obviously, the more you can actually use, for example, Heroic Strike or Wild Strike. Because both of those in Single Mind Fury are quite good. Anyway, without going too far into it, oh yeah, after the your hits up, go for the um, mastery. Uh, your haste isn't overly important. Your your hit rate speed is quite fast anyway. There you go, two and a half seconds basically, and then you get your flurry procs, which increases your hit speed by twenty five percent. And if you're in a raid. You're bound to have some other character in the game which increases your hit speed by a further 10%, I believe it is. So, yeah. Your haste isn't... Not your hit, your haste. It's Your haste isn't overly important. Anyway, without blabbering on too much. Talent tree. Let's have a look at this talent tree if I click the right one. Yes, I am mouse clicking. Only to show you, I wouldn't normally do it. You should actually know where all your buttons are. You should be able to press Alt-Z and do your rotation, basically. Anyway, this is what I've got. Now, the first three tiers are dependable. You can choose what you want. Impending Victory is quite good because it's obviously a free hit. Um, on the fourth tier, Bladestorm, I would say, is not as good. Shockwave is good and Dragon Roar. I'm going for Dragon Roar just because I love it. It's so much fun. The fifth tier is, well, Safeguard's pretty good. Vigilance, obviously, for helping out. Mass Spell Reflect is for helping everybody if there's a caster you're going against. Take a load of Tomb of Clear Mind with you. It just makes it easier. And then we're going for Avatar. Bloodbath is good. But I still say AoE. I really do think so. But yeah, Avatar is the overall best. I 
I believe my personal opinion. Oops. Forgot to go for... Look at that, he's so used to going for PvP. We've got to go for Glyphs. Okay, we've got an ending rage, just to give us that extra rage, which is always good. Glyph of Raging Blow. No, I don't actually need that one, so I could actually take that out and put Death for above it in it, except I've used up all my tombs, so I can't. And Glyph of Recklessness. This is to extend it, which in PvE it's pretty good, obviously, because you have that extension. You've also got the buffs from the other people, so you do suffer, but you don't suffer as much, and you get that extension of crit chance. And if you're getting your crit up as much as possible, it all works out. Anyway, rotation. Well, the priority list. Colossal Smash is your priority. Colossal Smash, and I'm going to get these right. Bloodthirst, you need Bloodthirst up to enrage you. If you're enraged, you, you can use Raging Blow. Oh my god, I nearly got it wrong. If you're enraged, you can use Raging Blow. If not, obviously use Bloodthirst to give you enrage. So you can use Raging Blow. Enrage or Berserker Rage increases your damage by 10% for 6 seconds. So you can time it, basically. Next one. Uh, I've got Dragon Roar, so use it on cooldown, off cooldowns. You don't have to use it when you've got Recklessness out because it's a guaranteed crit. So you don't need to worry about that. Uh, which one's now? Wild Strike. When it procs, use it. It's pretty damn good. Heroic Strike. Use it, obviously, with Keybound in with. I'm going to remember it. Where is it? Is it Deadly Calm? Or in a Rage? I cannot remember. Where? I'm going to find it now. Deadly Calm. There you go. Deadly Calm. So yes, use it with your deadly calm. And that's on a one minute cooldown. So let's try the rotation, shall we? So battle shout up. Make sure we've got the target selected. One shot and clicky way. Clicky clicky. Damn it, I've done it again. As you can see, I've got a lot of enrage procking. Berserker rage from procking. And as soon as that's off, I'm going to pop Dragon Roar. And as you can see, it hits fairly well. Two and three. This is surprisingly difficult to actually mouse click. I'll strike just because I can. <laughs> right. You can see a little bubble forming on me. That is just simply because I've got the wrong enchants on these weapons because usually these are for PvE P Blech. these are PvP weapons or for PvP shall I say. And I'm doing that wrong again. Oh, I've done it again. Yeah, surprisingly, it's quite difficult to mouse click. <clears throat> One. Colossus. As I said, it always keep your Colossus up. Dragon Roar. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, this is so hard to do. Yeah, if you're not a mouse clicker, well, if you if you don't click your mouse button all the time, then don't try and do it just to show people because it makes it really difficult. Believe it or not, the amount of concentration I'm going into right now is stupid. Anyway. This is it, basically. So let's stop there. So, as you can see in the bottom corner, I'm doing about 46k DPS. That's in PvP gear. That's under hit cap. That's with the 450 and 463 
eye level weapons which aren't the best to be honest with you now if I switched up to those two uh, you can see I've got 53 53 PvP power and my damage will be a lot higher because that is a level 478 and that is a oh hang on there you go that's better so we switched it around anyway the point of the idea is wild strike is very effective in single minded fury because it just hits extra hard just hit it it does hit very nice well, let's go that 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 and then yeah so wild strike hits nice and effectively in the single minded fury uh, dragon roar obviously hits beautifully and Heroic Strike hits fairly hard as well. Oh, Raging Blow doesn't, annoyingly, very annoyingly. Uh, Bloodthirst is so and so. Obviously, it's still got the guaranteed increased crit chance. And your Colossus Smash also hits pretty well. But that's it. It's basically Titan's Grip. You've got to understand that Raging Blow doesn't hit as hard Wild Strike hits a lot harder Heroic Strike hits harder but the rotation is almost well it's pretty much the same there is you know priority wise I would say it's pretty good for single target it's it's not good at all for AoE just because your Wild Strike your whirlwind well let's test it I'll actually do some sing uh, AoE now this is now going to be using key buttons. So get that up. Colossal Smash. Whirlwind. Dragon Roar. Whirlwind. Raging Blow. I'm doing Whirlwind to spread and to increase my raging blow targets and as you can see over above my target name I've got three bars popping up doesn't seem that great to be honest with you don't get me wrong it's good but it just doesn't seem good enough you know what I mean Overly happy with it as AoE. Yeah, okay, so it's hitting for 176. Let's just switch straight to Titan's Grip. Do the exact same thing again three stacks and 331. You can see it there yourself, guys. This will. I'll be honest with you. This is going to lead me to my. See, Dragon Roar doesn't hit that hard. 200k. I'll switch it to single minded. Let's switch it. Yep, right, so three stacks there. And Rage and Blow. You can even see that hit. What? Right, let's see. Three. 
three stacks. Okay. That's pathetic. So there you go. You can see me jumping between the two. I only hit two targets near its harder. Well. <laughs> there you go, guys. You can see it. I've got one more for Fury that I'm going to bring out. Um, then I'm going to do it. Basically, it's more of an experiment. I personally think it's the better of the two. When I say the better of the two, it sounds daft. Do you know what? That's for the next video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go and start work on the next one. Laters.